Hello everyone. Welcome to Billy Holman Creations. This is Billy. Welcome. I'm glad you're here to watch. I'm going to make a snake today using this mold from Let's Resin. It's a large snake. And what I like about this mold is it actually says on here 10.2 fluid ounces. We're not going to use that much um, resin because we're going to fill this. And I'm going to fill this with pony beads. Now, I w came across all these pony beads from a thrift store. And I think it was like 59 cents for this bag and these. So, you know, you can't beat that. So, what I have is I've sorted some colors. I have yellows. This is a pretty yellow. I have a dark brown, which is a nice brown. And then I have this brown, which I can honestly say this is an ugly brown, to me anyway. So I might refer to this as the ugly snake. <laughs> but we're going to give it our best shot. I'll try to make it pretty. But of course I have a thought in my head again. And initially, we're going to do this upside down. So the top layer will be a clear coat of resin and then I'm going to put a design into the pony with the pony beads but I'm thinking if I pour my resin and then put my design in that's going to take me a while so my resin may get tacky so what I think I'm going to do is just start laying out my design and then pour the resin and then I can hopefully shift these beads to where it will go under the resin. And if we have to top coat, so be it. That's not a big, that's not a big deal. So I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna grab some tweezers, whoop, and a Q-tip. And I'm going to take, get my X-Acto knife because I noticed some of these have little uh, pieces on there that we're gonna have to you know, take off, like, just little pieces of plastic from when they were manufactured. And to do this snake, I'm thinking I'm going to make a rattlesnake. And I was looking up, you know, diamondback rattlesnake skin patterns, and they're really not a, they're not a really a diamond. They're more like a heart, but I'm going to go ahead and do the diamond shape the best I can. Um, this mold, you know, it goes narrow, then it goes wide, and then you have the curves. But I'm going to fast forward this, but I'm going to start laying down a pattern before we do the resin. So enjoy. We'll see how far I can get. Mm -hmm. I don't know where my recording stopped recording, but uh, we'll see. This is the layout so far. I'm going to try to fill in, like I said, with some weight, possibly. And uh, that's a big gap there, a few big gaps. I'm going to go ahead and work on the head, and hopefully my camera won't shut off. Gosh. Okay, we're almost there. Promise. I'm trying to make them look like diamonds. Bit tricky. But I think we'll be okay. Oh, I was thinking about what to do for eyes now. And you know, if I was to do these sideways, uh, you know, the beads like this, that would have been great, you know, to make it look like scales. But I'm not. Something else in mind again. I 
I want to welcome those who are new to my channel. Thank you for joining us. We have a really nice group of people here. And if you like my videos, please hit the like button and subscribe. That would be so much appreciated. I like meeting all of you. You've all become very important to me. Well, I couldn't find any eyes, so we're going to ad lib. Let me just finish putting the rest of the head down. Get these in there. Oh, I was going to dig out some white ones too, wasn't I? Yes. See if, how this big plan goes. Now, after I pour this layer of resin, we'll let it set, and then we'll see if I can uh, doctor this up a little more. I think it might work, and I think I'm going to have to lay a couple of yellow ones. Where's the eyes going to be? I have to lay a couple of them. Let's see, where's the snake eyes? Towards the nose. That's the head. I want to say. Hmm. Maybe there. Maybe back there. Oh, probably about there, I'm thinking. We'll just have to hope it works. Hope he doesn't look weird. There's a fleck of plastic on that one again. Probably where they go. I always liked lizards, but was never real fond of snakes, I'll tell you. Let's scoot those up. Whoop, whoop, come on, lie down. Oh, for goodness sakes, the more I touch it, the more I fumble it up. Fumble, fumble, fumble. Put you there. Have to lock that in somehow. Nope, and I turned that one wrong. Oh, that's barely going to make the top of the mold, those eyes. I might try another snake with the beads laying sideways to look more like scales. Maybe we'll make one a little more colorful than this. Get down, get down, get down, get down. Almost. Now, can I fit one more in? Probably not. Oh, maybe so. Quit moving. 
Well, that's a bummer. There's a gap right there. Don't know if I can fill it. There we are. It's going to be as good as it gets there. Now, I should have went ahead and sorted out some light ones. My apologies for that. I'm going to have to grab in the bag. Get, get some out of here. Because I was thinking I'm going to use white and fill in those gaps. I have some small pony beads, but I don't think I want to put them in here. Let's see what happens. Just put in a few. Will that fit? Will you fit? Will you fit? Once the resin's in, they might, of course, they're going to move some. So we can worry about that. Might be able to fill a few more in when that happens. Like I said, for the time it takes me, it's taken me to do this, I know my resin would have gotten really sticky and tacky. And I would have um, defeated my purpose, I think, trying to get these in at that point so we're gonna try or I'm gonna try this is like the only reason or the only thing I could think of to use some of these pony beads up If any of you work with pony beads, oh, email me a photo. I'd love to see what you do. Oh, did I turn my volume up? I think I did. Let's hope it's okay. Uber of plastic in it, get rid of that. I see a lot of artists are using that new raindrop method. Boy, that's become quite popular, hasn't it? It's a nice effect. I haven't tried it. Try my own, my own little crazy effects. But when I was l watching videos on that, um, the raindrops, that's when I got this brilliant idea. Really, I was thinking drops. I was thinking drops, spots, dots. Then it hit me, beads. Try beads. Those will give you polka dots, won't they? Yeah, I think I like this with the white. I keep picking that one up. So I'll just clean that, clean that plastic out of there. up the diamond. I don't think it matters. So 
long as we get most of it filled in. Because our top coat will, of course, fill in the rest. Now I'm getting excited about this. Now I think I'm going to really like it. It's a different kind of white. I don't know if I can get it in there. Get one there. Oh, there's a beige in there too. That would have worked all right. Too late now. few more. Let's see. Oh, yes, there we go. Just have to be sure the resin goes under these, I'm hoping. didn't want these diamonds to look like, you know, flowers. Then when a snake moves, they and a twist and turn with the pattern on their skin. I don't know, I don't know, I don't know. Can't go there. All right, I think that's where we're at. Ooh, well, I distorted that one. Might as well distort it the rest of the way and get a white one in here. All right, everyone. I believe I'm going to go mix up my resin and uh, see what we can do with this. I'm excited. I'll be right back. Okay, everyone, I have this on my, my heat mat. And I wanted to show you that I had purchased some, uh, a big pack of syringes, um, bee stain syringes, um, that I've seen artists use with resin. And so I took the big one, and they have these removable tips that just screw on here. And you can see that's a good size hole right there good size opening. I'm hoping I can inject the snake <laughs> with some uh, resin where I need it to be and not just pour and have everything shift around. Um, so in the meantime, my resin has been sitting just a minute and it's quite bubbly and I did warm it up. Um, this is that diamond clarity and it's about gone, and I think, I don't know that I'll get any more of that. I'm probably going to go back to my, you know, I'll try Let's Resin and, and see if someone sends me some. That would be great. 
where I'm going to go back to my um, amazing clear cast. I mean, it's reasonably priced from Amazon and it worked very well for me. So I'm going to take my torch to this resin real fast. Get a bit of tissue here. Let's see if I can't pop some of these. Whoop. Move things out of the way so I don't get resin all over everything. I'm just going to torch that a little bit. Look at those. I like that torch. All right, should we give her a shot? A shot, literally a shot. Let's see how this works. If I can't get some of this in here before it gets too thick. I do have a bunch of small syringes. Um, it's not sucking up. Sucking up more like just bubbles. Well, as I was saying, I have a lot of small ones because there was a time I had a diabetic cat, old Tucker, and he took two shots a day. This isn't going to suck up the resin. Hmm. Maybe because it's too bubbly, I don't know. Or else I'll just... I don't want to fill up the holes of the beads with resin. I really don't. I just want the beads to sit on the resin. So that's what I'm going to try to avoid is... And that's where it was like a catch-22, either lay the resin down first and try to time it to where you could get your pattern in, or this way. So, I'm not sure if it'll try to level itself under some of those, or if I'm going to have to lift them individually. Oh, look at all the bubbles. don't want that. Don't want that. Try this again. I'm trying to section some up. Come on. Must be something about me and syringes now because pipettes don't work for me that good either unless I'm doing something extremely wrong here. Maybe this is just too thick. Well, there's some in there. I'll waste more on a paper towel than I will trying to get it in here. The reason I don't want the resin in the holes is because we're going to do something with those holes in the beads. Oh, come on. And I made four ounces, which is probably more than I need. But we'll see. This seems to be working fine, but I can't get much at a time in it. All right, I'll fast forward. His eyes might be a little wonky. But this was the thought. Oh. floating to where I thought, you know, they would possibly. This might 
give you the ticket. No, unless you try, right? I'm game to try anything. So, for those of you who watch my videos, if there's something you'd like me to try, um, throw it at me. See what I could figure out, maybe. Right? I'm game if you are. And I do appreciate your comments so much. Thank you very much. It's exciting to read your comments. I really enjoy it. Sometimes it takes me a while to get back to answering your comments. Forgive me for that, but I do get to you, to them. And you know, if you were to try this, you don't need to, you know, if you don't want to, just pour, pour resin on. I just have one of them ideas again. Should have put some alcohol through this. It might have helped a little bit. I'm oh, getting there. I'm going to put a little alcohol in a little cup here and just uh, suck it through one time and see. See if that uh, helps at all. Let's start sitting in there. Let's see what I can do. Squish it in and out. Keep that tip clean. Come on. Oh, don't spill it in the... F Ooh. Could have never been a nurse. I couldn't imagine. God bless those people in the medical field. I couldn't do it. Oh, there's a punch came out. I don't have the stomach. Well, it doesn't seem to be clogged. Oops. Get out of there. Torch this again over here. Let's see, I don't know what the playtime is for this resin either. I just find it very bubbly. Where did I leave off? Over here. Seems silly, doesn't it? Some of you might be thinking, what in the heck? What a waste of time. 
And possibly so. That's all right. Grateful I've got time. Whoop, I don't want to go in the hole. Oops, come on, Billy. Whoa, don't do that. That was an oops. That was another oops. Oh, come on, Diamond. Don't mess up too badly. I have a plan. I'm going to mess up my plan. I think I might have room for a white one there. I guess so. Put another one in there. Okay. Let's see, darn it. That's got the hole and I don't the hole filled. That's what I'm trying to avoid. It's this stuff right there. don't want. Maybe it's a bubble. Yeah. All right. Proceed. Hey everyone. Got that done. But I realized, you know, things did move. So I'm finding areas where I can put just a few more white beads in here. And if I see resin inside the others, I'm trying to pull it out a little bit. But that was rather awkward with that syringe. I had I don't know about that. Someone made it look easy, but it wasn't bad, just time consuming. But that's okay. I need some more white ones here. I have a few. So that's all I'm gonna do for now is just fill in a few gaps and then I will catch up with you when this is set. And we will work on the next stage. How's that sound? So until then, everyone, take good care. I'll see you in a little bit. Bye. Hi, everyone. Our resin is cured. And I tried to keep some of the resin out of these uh, holes or the beads. But some have resin in and some don't. Anyway, like I said, this is a test. I haven't tried this before. So my next step is going to take my Let's Resin Chameleon Powder. And this is a really nice set. I've had it for some time now and it's got some beautiful colors in it. I'm sure you're familiar with it. Um, there's 10 colors here, beautiful colors. You've got oh, plum, grape, champagne blue, oh, galaxy, mint, we have teal, and magenta, but today I'm going to use two different colors. I'm going to go with olive and golden. So first thing I'm going to do is take my olive and I am going to carefully put olive micro powders if I can do it neatly in every hole of this snake I'm just gonna make sure it gets down to the bottom I've got a little skinny brush here a little fine brush and I'm going to try to shake out what doesn't go into the beads here. My brush is flaring out. But we'll just do what we can. So this will take a bit. And uh, gosh, I'm thinking maybe I should take a micro brush and I won't get it all over. Let's get a new one of these little brushes. These are so handy, I'll tell you. Kind of See if that won't work better. 
There we go. I just want to get it down to the very bottom of these holes. And I'm going to continue to do this until all the beads have some of this mica powder inside. And I hope I don't miss any on the way. So this will be a little time consuming. I can come back to you when I have all of these filled in. So let me put you on pause and I'll be back when I'm done with that. Okay, I hope I didn't miss any. Um, I did the olive in all of the beads except for the um, rattler. And I think I'm going to put the gold in the rattler. Or the rattle, excuse me. And while I have my little chameleon powders out, let's go ahead and I'll let me just uh, dust one of the couple of these snakes. Oh, now I need a brush for that. Let me just dust. We'll do a couple gold and we'll do a couple of the olive. If I can get back in there. I don't know that I'll worry about the sides. It's funny that this olive powder is white. And then once it it uh, you know contacts black resin it turns into a really cool green that's the only one that looks that way so we'll get this powdered in the best it can So I'll be mixing up some resin and we'll do a black, a deep opaque black uh, on our final pour. And I hope that's ready by this evening. It's mid-morning now here. So I'm hoping to demold this because I'm very curious. I mean, I am very curious as to oh, how this is going to look. I do know that some of the beads with the olive in will uh you know there'll be some will have how do i say this the resin will be deeper in that bead because it happened to get in there and others will have the color right right at the very opening of the bead in the front but we'll just have to hope but gosh i'm I'm really curious about this. I have no clue what we're going to see <laughs> when this is finished. I just don't know. Uh, all I know is it sounded good. It sounded good in my little mind. All right. I think I've got it right to the tail in there. That's the olive. Okay. Now, I'm going to go ahead and get a new micro brush and do a little gold in the tail. Or, yes, gold. Pick up the wrong one. Golden. Let's see. We'll see how the. And I think this turns. Well, it has a bit of a rose gold to it uh if i remember correctly it has a little pink or light red in that but these were the two that i thought would work best with you know these color beads so we'll check out my theory here get that in there We do have a lot of rattlesnakes here in Idaho. I've not, well, I've encountered a couple. And uh, that was enough for me out in the sagebrush in the desert area. This is high, I guess you'd consider it high desert country here. Let me just 
pat this brush off a little bit. Wipe some of that off and we'll... I wasn't thinking we're going to get the gold back here and do these other earrings. Can you see? I might have to lift you up a little better. Hold on. Man-powered here. How far can we go? Okay, I'll just move that over. Let's get a little... Those snakes that we just did, the little ones have, um, they have heads. These don't have heads. These are more like worms. Just guessing. They'll kind of be blah. Guess I can do something with them. I don't know. We shall see. Some of the sides are coated, some bits are not. You know, this is a pretty deep mold. Should have measured how deep it is, but I'm guessing, well, maybe it's a quarter or maybe three-eighths deep just by looking. Anyway, all right. Now I'm going to have to shake this powder out of this mold. But first of all, before I do that, I'm going to, let me move you down here. Where are we here? I have to look. Okay. I'm just going to take some good old strap and tape and uh, try to clean up the top. Where I've spilt over. Where I tap the rest out. And that'll make more of a mess anyway. I might have to do it again. Oh, I use um, strapping tape or shipping tape for a lot when I'm resining. It, it's great for me. It works great to clean my moles with. You know, it cleans my moles pretty good and it cleans my mats pretty good. Although on occasion I'll take them to the sink and, you know, some warm soap and water, clean them up. But... I use this quite a bit. Let's hope I didn't miss any holes here. I'm, I'm looking as I can do as I'm doing this. I don't don't know. I guess we'll find out in the end result here. See, I took quite a bit of that loose stuff off. I'm just going to go over these real quick. Oh, I forgot a snake. Gosh darn, Billy. It's down here in this corner. I forgot the wormy looking one. Get back to that. I think I tend to rush when I'm excited. Hope you're having a good day. I'm having a good day. Just ate breakfast. Um, it's a good thing I had the recorder uh, on pause because the husband, God bless him, he, he likes to cook, but... Um, he burnt the bacon. He was in there cussing. <laughs> oh gosh, poor man. We were married 41 years last week. Makes you wonder, oh my goodness, that's a long time. Long time. And then you wonder, how did that ever happen? Okay, now I'm going to see if I can tap this out over the trash. Oh, my trash isn't this big, but I'll see. Then maybe if I flip it over, I can see if I missed any places. I'll be right with you. Just 
just tap, tap, tap. Don't know that that did any good, but just made a little more of a mess. Hope I didn't tap it out. Flip it over and see. Well, that's not going to help me. Ooh. Can you see some of that? I think we're okay. Ooh, look at the big, big dots there. Huh. It's hard to tell in the white ones. But, oh gosh, did I miss that one? Nope. It's in there. Okay. I guess, and by golly, let's just do the rest. Now, since the olive is down, if the gold goes over it, we're still going to see the olive. So I can uh, try to be real neat, or I can just get messy. So I'm just going to take, this brush comes with the chameleon powders. It's a very nice, soft brush. And I do want to get the sides. Whoops, I just flexed something in there. So, here we go. This will splatter everywhere. I'm just going to go start at the sides. Oh, even on the sides, I can see a bit of a pink. Did I make the right choice now, I wonder? Didn't put anything in those eyes. a piece of reds and that'll give me a raindrop actually right there get that off I meant to do that check the sides for little pieces of resin so they won't color but I didn't didn't do it let's just go let's just go now I'm real excited Curious, very curious as to see what this is going to look like. Go all the way around. Get those sides. I think that'll look pretty good. Well, it's going to have raindrops. I can see some of those. I know that's going to bother me just because. Flip that off. Mold if I can. It's just a little. I guess I shouldn't be so fussy. Now I see more. Move them up. There's a bunch right there, a big old chunk. Get out. Depending on how this turns out, I was actually th um, thinking about putting this on a wood uh, piece of wood and maybe put some hooks on it. We'll see. I have several projects projects outside. I need to. Uh, that's what I want to do is just put them on some barnwood backs or barn barnwood planks and stain them and such. I might have to do another video down the road that's just uh, finishing what I started again. <laughs> Let's get all the way around. I could speed this up for you. Oh, and for those of you that saw my Easter egg video last week, I have to um, say there's a spot towards the end where the screen goes blank and the music still plays. And that's something I, um, that was a mistake when I was editing. 
so it lasts just a few seconds if you if you happen to watch it or look at it again it does go to the end where you do see you know the video again I just I was just looking at it the other day because I did part of it in my um, craft room and I wasn't sure of the lighting so I turned that video on to watch it to make sure my lighting was okay and then I got to the darn near the end and I thought oh no uh, <sighs> but I did uh, cut a lot out of that video I enjoy editing I'm, I'm learning I'm learning about it every time I do it so that's something again to watch for be sure not to miss But I hope you enjoyed that one. That one was a challenge for me. I enjoyed it. I loved how it turned out. I said I was going to fast forward and I'm still talking. <laughs> We're going to have raindrops on the tail. That is a nice effect. I've seen people do that. That was not my intent, though. Just kind of gave me an idea about dots. I'm repeating myself again. See, I might have to turn this to make sure I can see what I'm doing. Come on, mister. Almost there. It's sticking pretty good. Then I'll make up some resin. We'll pour. And uh, be full of anticipation. There's a lot of speckle spots there. That's the fun part about resin. You think you know how it's going to be and it surprises you most of the time. Okay, now I'm just going to brush over the whole piece. And try to get into all the little small areas with Gosh, this looks like honeycombs. Oh, there's another idea. Honeycombs. I watch a lady called um, Crafting with Ollie, her video station or channels, Crafting with Ollie, and she she did a beautiful uh, rope covered beehive it was so cute watch that last night she does beautiful wreaths and a lot of things with bumblebees so if you get a chance look for crafting with ollie She's a very good instructor. It's she doesn't do resin, but she just makes these beautiful rope wrapped wreaths and little characters. I've watched her do some cute gnomes too.
Okay, I'm going to tap this out, mix up some resin, and we'll pour. And cross our fingers. Okay. Counting on you. Cross your fingers. Let's see in a little bit. Okay, I'm back. I mixed up some Naked Fusion and I'm going to add some colors to it, colorants to make some black. And what I have here is my Just For You Online UK color paste. There's not much there, so I think I'll probably end up using the rest of this. Now I've stirred it and uh, pretty thick but there's not a lot left how would you clean these bottles out do you pour ivy or ibuprofen geez I say that sometimes isopropyl alcohol in that to empty that out for sure or just leave it be there's not much in there Gosh, it's pretty black on my stick, though. That might have done it. Let's see. I can still see my brush a little bit. Let's just kind of shake this out up there. One more drop. I see it. I see it. Come on. There we go. I think she's about done. So I did grab also my Bombay Black India ink and I'm going to put a couple of squirts in there. This is Dr. Phil Martin's. I got a really lovely set off of Amazon. There's eight. Actually I got two different sets from Amazon. They're very pretty colors especially being um, an Indian ink they're somewhat translucent and I saw a woman do beautiful ocean scenes with the colors from Dr. Martin that's why I purchased it but I've used it quite a bit make sure this is mixed good oh I think we're gonna be in good shape get the edges all right here we go. I'm gonna see how beautiful the snake turns out. Even though initially I called it, I referred to it as the ugly snake, but I don't think so. I think it's gonna be pretty darn unique, that's for sure. If nothing else, it will be a one of a kind. I tend to do a lot of one of the kinds. I get bored easy. So let's just start at the top. I don't need to fill it all the way, really. I just need to make sure the beads are covered, but oh, let me take that back. I forgot about the eyeballs. Oh, please have enough, Billy. I might have to make more. See how far we can go with it. Oh, it's going to be magical. Magical, I say. Oh, I should have made six ounces. Yes, because my snake eyes are popping out. If I have to, I'll sand them down. Won't have enough for the earrings. Oh, I'm anxious now. 
I'm not using the heating mat because I already, you know, used it for the bottom layer. And I'm pretty level, and this is pretty much, ooh, this is pretty much filled. Look at that. Good guess, Bill. Except for our, oh, the tail. Jeez, I better get back over here. Got to have enough for that. Pretty please. Oh, yes, we did it. Oh, I have to wait and do the earrings another time. Look at that. Just enough. Oh, my gosh. Just a whoop. Just enough. Well, my friends, we're going to let this set up. I'm going to take the heat gun to it. Get the bubbles out. Keep an eye on it for a little bit. My room is pretty warm. I heated up my resin. So. Can't wait. I'm excited. I'll see you when this is set. And we can demold and see what kind of critter this turned out to be. So, have a good day, everyone. I appreciate you all sending hugs. Take good care. Bye-bye. Hello, everyone. It is later on in the evening, getting rather late, but I could not stand it. I just checked this, and it looks like it is set, and I can demold. I'm really excited about this, but let me tell you, I could have poured another layer to completely fill this up. As you see, it is shrinking in somewhat, so there's going to be a ridge. Um, another thing or another reason to do another coat was to cover the eyes because they're popping up a little bit. But I have to say, I got sidetracked, and when I was sitting with this for about 20 minutes after I left you um, I was popping bubbles and it was kind of cool because when I popped a bubble it was pretty much on top of a bead and then it would just sink right into itself it was pretty cool and uh, I think I only missed one more last bubble right here by the eye but let's take this out I have to see I have to see plus that way, I can have this ready by Sunday. Oh, don't know where to start. Don't know where to start, but this this one's got me very curious. Should we just flip it over and do it that way? Let's do. Oh, I see dots. I see beads. Let's see what this ended up like. I almost wondered if the pony beads would melt a little bit because, you know, I was able to melt them in a, uh, what are those called, a baker's oven when I was doing other art pieces with them, but apparently they have not melted. How am I going to do this? Let's see. It's coming. I did not use a torch on this either. I just used a the tip of one of these micro brushes that's broke off and the heating gun. So the colors are still pretty prominent, you know, like the yellow and the white. Okay, here we go. Here we go. Oh my gosh. Oh, I took a peek. Did you see that? Let's see. Oh my gosh, I think I love it. Here we go. Ta-da! Oh, look at that. Look at that. Now there's some spots where the resin didn't set inside. See those black holes? Like there's one. That's a partial. 
Look at that. I think that is like way cool. Got our gold. In the green that's in the yellow, well, the green that's in the beads, it really looks gold to me, too. It doesn't look, it doesn't look completely green, but I'm going to practice this technique. This one's completely empty. There's a couple here, but I'll have to do a top coat. So I guess that's what I will do tomorrow is a top coat and maybe I can color those in or maybe well maybe I could just make up mix up a little mic micro powder, a little chameleon powder with a little resin and fill those holes. And maybe that would have been the way to do it initially. But I had to look, and I'm glad I did, because it needs some doctoring. Now look at this eye. It's completely black in there. I could paint that and make a slit like snakes have, but this side, you can hardly see it because of the gold. And it's funny. Look at, look at the ripples in the mica powder here, where it didn't go, oh, the clear was in the way, I bet, is why it didn't go all the way down the sides, but I think that's pretty cool, if we look real close. Alright, I know how I'm going to do it differently now. I know how I'll do it. So maybe I'll try another project with this same technique. See how some are flat and some look like bubbles or balls? They look like balls in there. That's really cool. Okay, tomorrow I'm going to let this set just like that for the night and uh, tomorrow I'll patch these holes and then I might not have to do a top coat once I get those filled we should be okay I'll get that done and take a photo get the video up for you and let me know what you think about this idea I, I really Oh gosh, the more I look at it, the more I look at it, it's because I have, maybe it's because I have my cheater glasses on, but I like the brown, the, the, the beads, they look like they swelled a little bit or something. And there's a hole, bubble hole, but that turned out really, really cool. Okay, I know where we're at there. So, um, gosh, maybe I'll try something else. But maybe if we reverse the technique, you know, I think we could. I think I could reverse the technique and prevent those golds, those holes. But then, gosh, I can't get over it. Look at how this gold on the side looks like melted. It looks like melted metal. So we're really not getting the, there's probably not enough chameleon powder in total to, you know, give the chameleon effect. But boy, I really like that. So I'll fix it up tomorrow. Get your video ready and uh, let me know what you think in the comments because I think that's pretty darn neat. Oh, and the more I look at it. Oh my gosh. They're all they're different but the same. So, okay. I'll let you go. Good night everyone.
take good care sending hugs thank you for watching please share with your friends like and subscribe and i'll see you in the next video bye hi everyone i had to come back um it's not fair to you for me to just finish this off without showing you i was thinking about that uh last night because so many of you have said you appreciate me going through the, the whole process so let me um finish this off with you and if it's not up sunday it's not up sunday so let me just recap what we've got here um we've got these holes where the resin didn't drop down and maybe if i would have done a second layer of resin it might have you know pushed it from the back all the way through some of these beads but um i just went across it and i cleaned out these areas here where there are holes so i just you know kind of took my knife and scraped whatever was in there and loosened it up and i didn't have very many air bubbles except they're on the side there's some on the side there um some are quite rough i want to fix those but here's my thoughts to fill these holes i'm going to mix up some um uv resin just a little bit and i was going to uh, color it with the olive but I'm thinking um, I don't think I don't think that would come out because I'm just going to mix resin with the olive and put it in the holes and you know the olive needs the black to do its thing and, and uh, have the color show we're not going to see the chameleon effect I, I really can't see the chameleon effect here really at all so I was thinking we could go back to gold and just fill those holes with gold because the olive and the gold are pretty similar on this piece anyway, as far as this piece goes. Or I could try the mint green. There's a bit of a difference. If you look underneath, I'm thinking I'm going to try the mint green. I'm just going to mix it in with some clear UV resin and fill those gaps so let me do that and you know i have to put my mask on for this uv because it just tears me up um so let me do that mix a little resin and i'm just going to try to fill the holes and then set that and then i'm going to do a top coat uh using my pudio i have a little bit of pudio left here that i think will make a nice top coat so I'll probably fast forward through this part, but I'm going to go ahead and get that done. Get my ventilator on. Don't need a sinus infection. And we're just going to finish this off together. Okay, you know what? As I was doing that, um, I was getting a bunch of ideas. <laughs> Just filling in those little holes. And I like how they're all, you know, they vary. Some are, look like little beads. Some look like, you know, they're flush. Some, I, I think it's pretty darn cool, actually. So I let that set there with the lamp about oh is that a spot well i'm not going to worry about that's one little spot 
Ooh. Did you hear sheer joy in my voice right there? <laughs> um, yeah, there's another one. I think we're good. I'm going with it. All right. I am going to remove that. Get this monster liquid latex. And I'm going to prop this up and just cover the back. And... Again, I was questioning myself, do I take a Dremel and smooth out these edges like a curve? Do I let the, uh oh, it's going to come out. Do I let the um, resin just sit on top, but then I've got these, you know, a few holes on the side. Let it just flow over. I think I'm just going to let it flow over when I do the top coat. But for the meanwhile, um, See, and once I do that, I'm going to have to trim here. I'll just take my little tool on my Dremel and smooth that off. But uh, anyway, okay. I'm just going to put my gloves back on. Let me raise you up a little bit. Hold on. Just close enough where I could bump you there. I'm just going to smooth some of this liquid latex here on the bottom and let that set up. Something there. We'll go from there. And I don't know, I can't recall how long this pudio takes to set up, but I bet. I'm hoping. I'm hoping we can demold this this evening. Childproof cap. Oh. <laughs> there we go. There we go. I watched a little gal do on her video. Oh, what a uh, summertime girl. She puts her monster latex in a uh, old ketchup bottle. Brilliant. Because that's got a pretty big spout on there. So I think I'm going to pour it in a little cup. Let's see, that's pretty big that I can bend. Let me just go get one, of, one more of those little ones. Just do a little at a time. These came in a kit of some sort. I can't remember. When I first started resining, or thought I would start resining, I just... Oh my gosh, I had to just go in debt and buy everything. Now I've learned what I really need, you know, should have, and what I really don't need. I'm going to move this over so it's thinner. Don't need a full coat. Now, let's just use like a. I'm just gonna go to the edge. I had a heck of a time getting this out of my good paintbrush. I tried. I used it once. Don't do that. It's not. You ruin your brush because you, this stuff's hard to get out of it. Very rather difficult and then I'll go ahead and mix my pudio for the top coat and let me know if you had any thoughts when you were watching me fill those holes I'm hoping your imagination went wild. Just let it go wild. Okay. I'll get back with you shortly. In a minute. Okay. Um, the latex is dried. 
I've propped the snake up on, oh, quite a few uh, little shot glasses here that I got from the dollar store. I think you get 50 or, gosh, I think it's 50 for a dollar or it could be 100 for a dollar. I'm not sure. Don't quote me there. <laughs> but anyway, I mixed up two ounces of Pudio, Pudio resin, hoping I'll have a little extra to do these little snake molds that I didn't get to fill in yesterday. So, here we go. I'm going to try to just do on top. If it goes over the edge, then I'll do the whole edge. But as I was looking at this, I'm thinking, oh my goodness, will I take my gold pen and do an outline or just leave it be? I'm not sure. I'm just going to put the heat gun to this. It's a few bubbles. Well, we'll get it when it... Let's just go towards the edge best I can. Now, this is a one-to-one -one ratio, this resin, resin. It's a really nice resin. And uh, I'm about to the last of it. But it's one-to-one, -one and you have a 30-minute work time. And I did heat this up because the hardener towards the bottom of the bottle was getting, uh, I guess it's old. It's getting, it was getting, um, how do I say? It looks almost like ice in the bottom there. And um, it may have been, it may have gotten cold through the winter to where that happened. I'm not sure, oh my goodness. But it's a nice resin. Especially for really pretty top coats. I can't see where I am. Spread it around here, get it in there. Don't want those little dimples. Get right to the edge. Oh, it's hard to see. It makes a really nice dome. I can see the dome already. It's rather a thick dome. But it's bubbly, little bubbles. You know, I still need to top coat my bunny rabbit um, Easter egg scene that I did for you last week. I sanded the top and I got that f those flaws out. I still need to top coat, but I don't, I just have the one level leveling table and I, I'm going to have to wait till this is done before I can get that on the table here. I'll tell you, these tables are handy. Made a big difference considering my countertop is pretty, you know, the house settled and it's not level anymore. I think, I think, and my flashlight I think is, I need a new battery. This is a handy little thing. Have a hand, uh, flashlight handy and you can see where you miss, but I need to get a new battery in that. Wasn't thinking, what did I leave off? Gee, I, it's thicker than what I imagined too. I was mixing and I thought, oh, this is rather thin, but oh no, look at that, it's staying, staying pretty close to Talk there, the edge. Um, anyway, it's looking pretty thick and it's just gripping right to the edge. So I guess we'll leave it there and not bring it over.
missing a spot. It's hard to see. You have to look sideways here. And I popped a few little holes, hoping this top coat would go in and fill a few bubbles we had. I like this snake. He's pretty unique. See, there's one of those big side bubbles there, and I was hoping that will fill that in, but I'm sure it might go down the side. Oh, that's a nice top coat. It's doming really nicely. Call those a fisheye dimple that went right over. And you know, when I was uh, looking at this earlier, when I was putting it on the these little cups, I could see that gold. Uh, change color to that rose gold. It wasn't real prominent, but it was, it was there. I could see it. So maybe when it's completely cured, we might see something completely different, eh? Okay. So everyone, I'll let you go, and uh, like I said before, thank you for watching. I appreciate you all so very much. I love hearing from you. I need to respond to some of your comments from last week. I'm sorry. Um, I just kind of get this, that, and the other things going. You know how it is. But anyway, thank you for your comments, and um, you know, that's what keeps me thinking I'm doing okay maybe this is my maybe I finally found my another niche or my niche for the you know for the next part of my journey so take good care thank you for everything please like like share and subscribe and I'll see you in the next video thank you Take good care. Big hugs. Bye.